Most herbicides work in a lock and key manner, with the herbicide being the key and the target site or the protein for the herbicide in the weed being the lock. Normally, herbicides bind to the target site, preventing normal function and the weed dies. In the case of herbicide resistance, the key or the herbicide can be prevented from reaching the lock. We call this type of resistance non-target site resistance. Weeds can also be resistant to herbicide if there have been changes to the lock itself. We call this type of resistance target site resistance. To date, very few cases of HPPD resistance have been confirmed. Most cases of resistance are within two closely related weed species called Amaranthus that infest corn and soybean fields in the US. In these cases, where resistance to HPPD herbicides has been confirmed and the mechanism investigated, metabolism or degradation of the herbicide has been shown to be the major mechanism of resistance. Most research has been done on the herbicide mesotriene. Mesotrium metabolism occurs through hydroxylation or the addition of an OH group by a group of enzymes called P450s. This hydroxylation effectively deactivates the compound and it's then further degraded within the plant and the plant survives. Reduced movement of the herbicide has also been detected, but this plays a minor role in resistance. The level of resistance to HPPD herbicides in weeds does change over the lifetime of the plant. Resistance to HPPD herbicides has been shown to be through degradation or metabolism of the herbicide. This is carried out by enzymes in the weed. The production of these enzymes is not switched on or produced to a high enough level to confer resistance very early in the plant's life cycle. Useful levels of these enzymes only occurs later in the plant's life cycle such as at two to three inches tall. This means that if you applied the same dose of herbicide to resistance population pre and post, you would have better levels of control in the pre-application than the post-application. Our research has shown that the level of resistance to mesotrione in a resistant population is up to 10 to 15 times more when mesotrione was applied post compared to pre. The excellent results seen with combinations of HPPD and PS2 mixtures occurs through a phenomenon called synergy. This is where the combination of the two herbicides gives much better results than would be expected from the individual herbicides added together. Simplified, synergy is a case of one plus one equals more than two. In the case of post applications, we have seen very clearly synergy of HPPD and PS2 herbicides. Whilst there is every reason to suspect synergy also occurs in pre-applications, it is very difficult to detect synergy pre due to the very high levels of weed control. <laughs>